Our project involved uh, renewable energy in the built environment, so specifically buildings. We are looking at help training construction professionals and engineering professionals in some of the new renewable technologies and how they integrate between the disciplines. So we set up modules looking at how energy is used in buildings, some of the renewable forms like solar energy, some of the basic energy calculations for heating, ventilation, air conditioning control that engineers and professionals would use. Kind of a, a little hit and miss on, on everything in the field. We had a, a wide range of people involved though. Some were people that were in construction, some were people that were in engineering, but we also had some other people. We had a chemical engineer taking part, some people that were in marketing or sales. We also had a, a few students that were in different programs looking for some more well-rounded background. And then we had a number of people that were looking at changing job fields. They'd been working in one area in industry and for one reason or another wanted to, to change their focus a little bit. So they would come from different areas of manufacturing in the region. I had a unique situation going while I was attending the class. I was actually in the middle of finishing the inside of a building that I had put up a few years ago. So it was very helpful to be going through the um, class when they were discussing the building envelope and the proper way to insulate and do your vapor barriers and how heat is transferred and where your heat losses come from. So I ended up applying some of those techniques to end up with a better, more energy efficient buildings. The program addressed several different areas related to renewable energy. We started off with a basic background of the engineering thermodynamics and heat transfer that's involved in a building as well as the basic construction practices involved in building the actual building structure itself. We then took the students through some of the basic calculations involved in determining how much energy a building would use, where we primarily looked at the LEED rating, which is a popular rating system for buildings. So in that module, we spent time talking with the students about how you acquire LEED points on a building, and that could be through a number of energy efficiency or energy saving means, as well as employing different renewable energy technologies in the building. Some of the professionals came in with some knowledge, so this was filling in gaps understanding of why they'd been doing some things or extra knowledge in other areas. So they might have been involved with a lead building before, but they didn't have a background in energy auditing or solar energy or, or vice versa. They might have been involved with construction projects before, but no one had ever explained to them the engineering calculations behind the things that they were actually building. Ford Hall is one of our newest buildings on campus here at Minnesota State University. It was built with a number of energy efficiency um, applications involved. In one of our workshops we cover heating, ventilation, and air conditioning as part of this grant and through that workshop we talk about a lot of the calculations and system components that go into a building's energy system. We used Ford Hall as an example of a building to look at talking about how they employed certain technologies for energy efficiency in that building and actually pulling out sets of blueprints for the building to show students where the different things were in the systems and how they were connected and interrelated in the actual building environment. The participants in the project also receive a lasting impact because this is a first step to a new area for them or a continuing education for them. In most cases this won't be the last step so it's something that they'll be building on and continuing month after month or year after year as they get more education or start working in this area.